Sometimes the moment produced by a force about a specified axis is determined and that is exactly what we are going to do in today's lesson. Now there are two ways in doing this. We can either do this using the vector analysis or better still the scalar analysis. Now for the sake of today's lesson, we are going to focus more on the vector analysis and then consider scalar analysis in the subsequent videos. Now to find the moment about a specified axis, say A, we first of all need to find or determine the moment about an arbitrary point, say O. And in the previous lesson on moment of a force in a three-dimensional space, we said that the moment of a force about the point O is giving us the cross product of R and then F, where R represents the position vector directed from O to any point on the line of action of the force F, and then F represents the force represented as a Cartesian vector. Secondly, to find the moment produced by a force about a specified axis, say A, that is given by the dot product of the unit vector directed along A and the cross product of R and F. So basically, if you want to find the moment produced by a force about a specified axis, say A, we are going to use the second equation. Now, the moment MA is said to be the projection is said to be the projection of MO onto the A axis. The projection of MO onto the A axis. So to find the moment about the x, y, z axis, we say that moment about the x axis is giving us the dot product of the unit vector directed along the x axis and the cross product of R and then F. Moment about the y axis is also giving us my equals ui dot R cross F. And then moment about the z axis is also given as mz equals uz dot r cross f. So moment about the x axis that becomes now the unit vector directed along the x axis is i. So you have i dot r cross f. Unit vector directed along the y axis is j so you have j dot r cross f and that's of the z axis is called k so k dot r cross f so basically these are the formulas in finding the moment produced by a force about the x y z axis now the combination that is the dot product of the unit vectors and r cross f is what you call the scalar triple product scalar triple product so from the second equation given that ma is equal to ua dot r cross f to find the moment about a specified axis say a you are going to construct a 3 by 3 determinant whose first row consists of the unit vector directed along the x y z axis which defines the direction of the a axis so you have u a x u a y and then u a z and the second row consists of the components of the position vector directed from o to any point on the line of action of f so that is r x r y and then r z and then the last rule or the third rule consists of the components of the force directed along the x y z axis respectively so f x f y f z now after evaluating m a you are either going to obtain a positive or negative scalar you obtain either a positive or a negative scalar. 
Now if MA if MA is positive, then what this primarily means is that MA has has the same it has the same direction as UA if MA is negative then it means that MA acts opposite opposite to UA now since MA produces a scalar we can represent MA as a Cartesian vector by applying this formula that is you multiply MA by the unit vector directed along A so basically this formula gives the Cartesian vector representation of the moment about the specified axis A So having this information, let's try a few examples. So let's solve our first two questions. Question 1. Determine the magnitude of the moment of the force F about the x-axis and then express the result as a Cartesian vector. Now the second one, we are also going to determine the magnitude of the moment of the force F, which is the same force, this time about the OA axis. And then we are going to express the results also as a Cartesian vector. Now let's try to solve these questions. So for question one, we are given we are given the force as a Cartesian vector, which is 300 i minus 200 j plus 150 k. And we also know that to find the moment about the x-axis, that is given by mx equals the dot product of the unit vector directed along the x-axis and the cross product of r and f. Now from the question, we are given the value of f. So let's focus on ux and then r. So for ux, that is the unit vector directed along the x-axis. So along the x-axis, we have a distance of 0 0.3 meters. And since it is the x-axis we are focusing on, the unit vector directed along the x-axis is i. Therefore, we have 0 0.3i. Now, since we are finding the unit vector directed along the x-axis, it means that we have no j component neither do we have any k component and so the unit vector ux is equal to 0.3i plus 0j plus 0k all divided by the square root of 0.3 square plus 0 square plus 0 square now this is equal to we have 0.3i divided by the square root of 0 0.3 square is 0 0.3 because the square cancels the square root and then we are only left with 0 0.3 so we simplify this and then we have i so ux is equal to i now for r we know that r is giving us the position vector directed from o to any point on the line of action of the force f and so we are going to define a position vector from O to B. So that is RB. So we have RB to be equal to. Now we are going to move from point O to point B. And so in doing that, we move 0 0.3 meters along the x-axis. And then you know that away from point O, you have a positive value. And then when you move towards point O, you have a negative value. So away from point O on the x-axis, you have a positive value of 0 0.3. So we have 0.3i. And then we are also moving away from point O on the y-axis. And so we have a positive value 
0 0.4 j and then from point a we are moving towards point b also away from point o and so we are assumed to obtain a positive value however because we are moving in the negative z plane it means that we should obtain a negative value and so this becomes negative 0.2k and so this is rb the position vector directed from o to point b now having obtained ux and then rb with f we can find the moment about the x axis so moment about the x axis is giving us we are going to obtain or construct a 3 by 3 determinant and so we have ux now the coefficient of i is 1 so we have 1 0 0 for rb we have the coefficients to be 0 0.3 0 0.4 negative 0 0.2 and then for the force f we have 300 minus 200 and then 150 so let's try to find the determinant of this 3 by 3 matrix and so first of all we select one we cancel out the row and column containing one we have 150 times 0 0.4 which is 60 minus negative 200 times negative 0 0.2 so negative cancels out negative 200 times 0 0.2 gives 40 so we have 40 now for the next one we have 0 here and then whatever value we multiply by 0 is still 0 and then for the last one also whatever value we multiply by 0 is still 0 so we can simply leave those ones out so basically we are going to have 1 times 60 minus 40 and then 60 minus 40 is 20 and so we have the moment mx to be 20 newtons meter now remember that this is a scalar and we are asked to express the result as a cartesian vector and so representing that as a cartesian vector we have mx to be equal to mx that is this value times the unit vector directed along x so that is equal to 20 times i 20 times i newton meter now let's move on to question 2 so for question 2 we still have the same force f we still have the same force f which is 300 i minus 200 j plus 150 k and then we are also going to use the same rb because rb is the position vector directed from o to b so we are still going to use the same rb that is 0 0.3i plus 0 0.4j minus 0 0.2k now the reason why we are going to use the same rb is that we need to define a position vector directed from o to any point on the line of action of f and so since rb defines that then it means that we can use the same rb now the only difference is that we are going to find the moment about the oa axis now this is the oa axis this is the oa axis and this is where we are going to find the moment about so first of all let's find the unit vector ua and so we are going to move from point o to point a now you notice that oa lies in the x y plane it lies in the x y plane so we need to move some distance along the x axis and some distance along the y axis in order to move from point o to point a so along the x axis and away from point o we have 0 0.3i 
and also away from point O on the y axis we have 0 0.4 and then we divide through by the square root of 0 0.3 square plus 0 0.4 square this is equal to 0 0.3i plus 0 0.4j now the square root of 0 0.3 square plus 0 0.4 square gives 0 0.5 and then 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.5 you have 0 0.6i plus 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.5 you have 0 0.8g so this is the unit vector directed along the OA axis now having UA RB and then F we are going to find the moment about OA axis so that is given by so we have the moment about the OA axis to be equal to we have the first row being 0 0.6 0 0.8 0 because we have no k component and then on the second row we have 0 0.3 0 0.4 negative 0 0.2 the last row we have the force the components of the force 300 negative 200 and then 150 so that's going to be we select 0 0.6 and then we cancel out the row and column containing 0 0.6 we have 150 times 0 0.4 which is 60 minus negative 200 times negative 0 0.2 is 40 minus we select 0 0.8 we cancel out the row and column containing 0 0.8 we have 150 times 0 0.3 which is 45 minus 300 times negative 0 0.2 and that is negative 60 and then because this is 0 when you multiply this by any other value you still have 0 now let's simplify this so you are going to have 60 minus 40 is 20 and so 20 times 0 0.6 is 12 so you have 12 minus 45 minus negative 60 is 105 so 105 times 0 0.8 gives 84 so you have 12 minus 84 and that is equal to negative 72 newton meter so this is the scalar value if you want to represent MOA as a Cartesian vector then basically that is equal to you have MOA this value times UA so that is equal to negative 72 times UA is 0.6i plus 0. 8j and so you have this as negative 72 times 0 0.6 gives negative 43.2 i negative 72 times 0 0.8 will give us negative 57.6 j so this is the cartesian vector representation of the moment about the oa axis so that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.